Welcome back to Phasmophobia. I learned today that there is a problem with the sound sensors and it might explain why they don't always work for me the way I want. Um, as you can see, I'm just barely into level 98 right now. Still in no rush to get to level 100, but what I want to do today is experiment with the sound sensors in prison. I'm going to do it under amateur, so I don't have to worry about losing sanity. Make sure I got the right equipment. Four sound sensors. Good. Let's go in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right shower room and uh, turn on a faucet and use that as the control for which sound sensors can pick it up. And hopefully, the ghost isn't in that room, because I would like to do this experiment undisturbed. Alright, so let's turn you on, and you, that should be good. And now I gotta calibrate my position. That's about right. Okay, so let's open this up. So what I want is, um, what do I want? I want 30 meters and 15 meters, I guess. Slightly closer, that's about right. So let's put you here. And then back all the way up to 30 meters. Right about there should be good. And then I have no idea what the small range is on these, so I'll just put this here. The range is 10, 20, and 30. I have no idea. I'll see if I can gauge it by uh, the map. So, yeah. I don't see them picking up on the uh, faucet at all. Okay. What in the world? So that one doesn't pick it up. That doesn't either. But that does. Something is wrong. It doesn't pick up at all. 
That one does. What in the world? Okay, well, yeah, clearly they are not operating at the range that they say they are operating at on the map. But what I'm going to do now is change their operation mode to see if that changes anything. That's our cursed object, by the way. Music box. <clears throat> I'm not planning on staying here to figure out what the ghost is. Change you into cone mode. And you too. And you too. So let's see if the cone mode is any more sensitive. Actually, this isn't cone mode, this is actually. Uh, Conic mode, two cones in opposite directions. So maybe these will operate better at long range. Well, right now they're not. Huh. That one never picks them up. Strange. All right. Well, yeah, clearly these are not uh, picking up at their advertised ranges. So that's enough for me. I'm going to leave this one. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Don't black out on me, please. Thank you. So let's look at these sound sensors. Re oh, range 5, 10, and 15. Not 10, not 10, 20, 30. They're 5, 10, and 15. Oh. Okay. So they really only operate at half the radius. And the only thing that makes these special over tier 2 is that this one's circle only, and this one you can do circle, cone, and sides. I don't know why that's more useful. Okay, so I guess... Hmm. So I guess the sound sensors are really only operating at half of their radius. Noted. I did professionals last time. What do I want to do now? Do I want to do any sort of a challenge where I have... Nah. Let's just go Nightmare. Nightmare with flashlight. <coughs> We've arrived. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. Nothing to report, but it looks like whoever is left in a hurry. Crucifix, ghost event, and low sanity.
Okay, looking around for the bone and the cursed object. No cursed mirror. No voodoo doll. No summoning circle. No Ouija board. Tarot cards? Nope. Probably the music box. Nope. Just heard it hit a light. Not like I need this just yet, but I'll put it in the kitchen. Excuse me, I put you on my belt. Seventeen. Ten. Ten? What is this room? Is it part of the living room? Yep. Oh, I don't know what my sanity is. I did get the ghost event, though. Music box can help me help me. Yeah, music box can help me get the low sanity easily enough. See a ghost orb. Ooh, I see dots. I saw that dots ghost. Could be a Gorio. I'll see what the other evidence is first. Let's uh, take in some salt. Top off our sanity just in case. Okay, give me some footsteps. You a wraith. Do we need to put more salt down? I think you might be a wraith. Putting down salt really isn't a waste at this point because the uh, ghost, well, I mean, it's a consumable, so I might have to buy it, but putting it down in the wrong place isn't going to be harmful at this point, because the ghost can't step in it. So it can't even affect it during a hunt. If it's not stepping in any of this, then it's a wraith. Hmm. 
wraiths, evidence, or dot spirit box and EMF5. So let's see if we can get spirit box out of it. How old are you? Figures. Options, audio. Yep, that's not the right one. No, it is. How old are you? Looks like a wraith to me. It's not stepping in any of this. Okay, uh, that means that pictures are going to be a pain to get. I'll drop you, I'll drop you. Just throw a couple crucifixes in there to keep it from hunting. So what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing the lanterns and I'm going to light them up and I'll let the ghost uh, blow them out, use them as interaction pictures so I can get a perfect game. Sadly, a bit annoying with some of their objects. Okay, let's turn that on. Crucifix, low sanity. Let's grab a smudge and a camera. I still have to find the bone. Which door did it hit? Hmm. Okay, I don't even know what door it hit. It sounded like it was close to me. Still in here? I hope. Yep. What is going on here? I'm not wasting my photos. Good. Throwing more stuff.
Are you over here now? Welcome to show me a dots ghost. This is pointing at. Shit. <laughs> Too late. Three more photos. Actually, really only one more. I just need to take a picture of the cursed object and the bone and I'm good. I haven't found the bone yet. I could have used my uh, night vision goggles, but I kind of miss color, so I'm using the uh, flashlight for a while. No, I'm not going to bother. The moment I poke my head in there, it's going to be gone. Make sure it's not in here anywhere, it isn't. Where's the bone? I have to find it. I'm confused.
I haven't looked in here yet. Here it is. Finally. Now I can go into defensive mode. Let's see here. I need low sanity. Okay. Well, that was fun. I got the ghost singing and a ghost event. And it hunted. I still need the crucifix, so I'm going to hang around in the living room. Come on, burn a crucifix. I know I'm low enough. Bye. Okay, that's everything. Bone, ten pictures, wraith, all objectives. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Sixteen eighty, not bad. That took me twenty minutes. All right, let's finish up on Willow. I want to make the video too long. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and Fire the light, ghost event, incense. There have been new reports of a cursed object nearby. This must be the reason that the ghost was summoned here. Another sunrise. Bone, cursed object. I'll just grab the bone this time. I didn't see a music box. Did I see tarot cards? object is might be either the monkey paw it is the monkey paw don't say anything when you're holding the monkey paw 
because the other day I held it and I said, okay, I'll wish for sanity, and I wished for sanity. Unexpected things happening with a monkey paw in your hand, not a good thing. Well, I have no strong indicator of the ghost being anywhere right now. Oh, it's probably in here because that saw is in a bad place. I if oh, okay, it reached through this wall and through the through the saw, so I guess this is the room. I might have started up another set of zero evidence runs, but as I said, I'm not in a rush to get to 100. It's not getting any colder in here. is going to be stingy with EMF 5. I might need to take some lanterns down. Not seeing a ghost orb. dots. Let's assume for the moment that it's not going to give off dots or a ghost orb. That means it can't be any of these ghosts. If you can rule out two evidence, you can select the two evidence and then just cross all those ghosts out. I guess I can rule out freezing temps and ghost orb too. Removes them. And freezing temps and dots. Limits the list by a lot. Okay. Let's see if I can force some UV out of this thing. Not a UV ghost.
Oh, you moved. EMF5. I'll take it. Absolutely not a UV ghost. It's got the potential to be a freezing ghost. Let's go back out and look for a ghost orb again. Still not striking me as a ghost orb or a dots ghost. But at least I know I can get uh, salt pictures. I'll just take one of these in for now. How's the temperature looking? Hmm. We have a chance. On a digital thermometer, if this drops below one, we'll know it's freezing. That's close. I think I do agree, though, with some of the streamers that have said that a tier three a uh, thermometer really should be more accurate than ranging, than having a, th a 4 uh, Celsius range on the accuracy, or a 3 Celsius range. Okay, so it might not be freezing. <coughs> I have not tested for spirit box yet. How old are you? Been a young man. There you go. So, we have... Where are you? 
There we go, that's what I wanted. Emoth 5 and Spirit Box. Spirit Wraith of the Twins. Well, it's definitely not a Wraith. So the only way to distinguish between Spirit and the Twins is with a hunt. A Spirit won't hunt again for more than three minutes after it's smudged, and the Twins will walk either slightly faster or slightly slower than normal. I need a ghost event and blow out a candle, huh? Be careful how I light this because if I pick it up with my VR hand, it'll intersect with my smudge and use that, and I want to keep it. So let's grab it and drop it first, and then I'll light it. Another EMF 5, huh? I could go out to the truck and check the EMF graph, but um, since I'm playing in Nightmare, they're broken. Let's see, what was I coming out here for? Incense, firelight, ghost... Oh, wow, that's cool. Did that animate? Did that not just simply appear there? I'll smudge it during the hunt, but I need a ghost event. Ghost event, ghost event. <gasps> No, no, no. I could ask, I was going to ask the um, monkey paw to show me the ghost, but that's not a ghost event. I could ask the monkey paw to increase activity, but that would um, blow the fuse and have other effects. So maybe what I'll do instead is just smudge the ghost. Oh, that's what I was going out there for. I was, um,. wanting to get the camera. You are smudged. Give me a ghost event. You're in here now? It seems to be only doing one interaction at a time. I'll go out and get a camera real quick. Turned off the fuse box. Gotta have the lights on so I know where I'm running.
one more event, please. Or one more interaction. You can give me a ghost event, too. I'll take one. Okay, I don't think there's any way I can provoke a ghost event out of this thing. So I guess I'm just going to have to live without it. Let's find out once and for all what this thing is. I wish for sanity. That also causes that also causes the ghost to change its ghost room. So I don't know where it is now. Could be right here in the room with me for all I know. So I'm going to listen for footsteps. If they're normal, it's a spirit. If it's slightly slow or slightly fast, it's the twins. So I forgot to remove the uh, crucifix from downstairs. But it probably isn't downstairs anymore. Hello? Are you serious? So where are you? <laughs> Most event. Perfect. Thank you. Did I get the incense? Yes, I did. So I'm going to say spirit, unless my listener was off. That certainly sounded like normal ghost stepping to me. Uh, and that's everything. Got the bone, 10 three star photos, guest spirit, and all objectives. Nice. Okay. Slowly worked my way to 100. Again, not with 100 is the goal, just 100 is the max. Well, I mean, I can go above 100, but once I hit 100, I can prestige, but I won't be doing that for a while. And that's going to be it for this one. So thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.